There are a lot of tragic events in the history of Azerbaijani people, and one of them is the Stalin's repression, which occupied 30 years of the last century. More than 70,000 people were repressed during the totalitarian state regime of Stalin. According to academicians Yabin Yadov, 30,000 of the repressed people were intellectuals, bright brains of the nation. In this hall, you can see the prison bars behind of which there are pale faces of poets and writers, politicians, at the same time dramatists, artists and actors. Among them was Hussein Javid, Mikhail Mishvik, Seyyid Hussein, Umu Gülsüm, Salman Mümtaz, Bekir Çobanzade, Yusuf Vezir, Kemal Zeminli, Ahmet Cavad, and each of them have image numbers on their breasts. It's very pity to say that behind the prison walls they were called by their numbers, not by their names and surnames. Stalin's machine of death was working intensively. These people, as many thousands of people of the former Soviet Union, were blamed in pan-Turkism, pan-Islamism, anti-Sovietism and anti-Bolshevism. They were violently separated from their homes, from their families, dearest and nearest, without any explanation for many years till the end of their life. And they were arrested, shot, killed, and exiled to Siberia, to different frosty, boundless steps of the former Soviet Union and Middle Asia. Just here, I would like to show you two boards in both sides of the exposition, which uh, introduce us the cases Dallas, which were opened for each of these poets and writers during their imprisonment. These cases were kept in the archives of the State Security Committee for many years. Nowadays, the visitors of our museum have opportunity to get acquainted with them. If you can see, there is a passionate heart of each of these poets and writers behind these cases, yellowed papers. And these hearts are full of desire to create wonderful examples of literary art. And it's very pity to say that the works created by these poets and writers were burnt in the bonfires during the Stalin's repression. But nowadays, when our Republic gained independence, we have a chance to see that these works have brought worldwide fame to their authors. I want to speak about a very talented poet, Mr. Mikhail Mishvik, who is the outstanding representative of Azerbaijani poetry of the 20th century. He lived a very short life but left enormous heritage, number of poems full of love and full of life. Mikhail Mishvik created lyrical poetry and used colorful expressions in his poetry and his verses are songful and melodic. He extolled the new man and the new world, where emancipated labor have triumphed. He seemed to have a premonition of his early tragic end, because he called himself a crescent that will never become a full moon. The poet glorified the new life, but he was faithful to ancient traditions of national culture. Mushvik glorified the new life, 
but he was faithful to ancient traditions of national culture. In the 30th years of the 20th century, when playing national musical string instrument tar had been forbidden by the government, the poet ardently defended the rights of tar, creating the poem Sing Tar. Sing Tar. Sing Tar. Verses of beauty go dancing around. Sing Tar. Sing Tar. Dew on my soul is each sweet ringing round. Sing Tar. Sing Tar. Who can forget you who once heard your sing? Grief of the people, the tears of their heart. This is their music. This is their fairy art. Just here, you can see the valuable exhibit of our hall. The tar dedicated to Mikhail Mushvik.